here we go with continuation of letter 14. Brevis tempus, so it's a short time. For tanto brevius omne quanto felicius tempus. So when we have tanto quanto, they're correlatives, often they do it backwards. So by how much a better a time it is, the felicitous, the same much more brevius, so much shorter it seems. And the initial bit again. Uh, so it's been a short time in which, we'll take that quo, uh, libet, here it means, um, takes the infinitive, uh, it's possible to know, or we can. Uh, we can know what we are, regarding uh, their powers, apparently, in the um, this new situation they're in. And libet exercere quod schemis, and schemis is what we know, uh, we're able to, or we can exercise. So now things have been going good for a while. Remember from yesterday, they'd forgotten a lot of senatorial procedures, but now they want to know what powers they have and how to exercise them. <coughs> quo, quo, <coughs> my throat. Quo justius, it's a comparative, so the quo's are not. Uh, so the more justius, so the more writer, um, peto I seek. Uh, primum, first, that's error sequis est error. So if there's any error, that uh, these errors, you will tribute us, you will give or tribute a venium, a pardon. Okay, so that's what he's pedoing. And they, they then, mediaris, that's what doctors do, they medicate, they uh, heal, they, so you will amend, maybe, I want to say, with your scientific, your knowledge. Uh, cui, semper fuit cure, looks like a double dative. Uh, which is always a care to you or something which you care for. Uh, thus, jura, which is law, we'll say, sometimes it's rights. Uh, publica in privata, so public and private law and rights. And sick again, thus ancient and recent, so older law, public and private laws, all types of law. And sick, thus the types that's rare and thus the types that are assiduous or constant. Uh, which you tractare, which you handle or know. Mm, Eleven. At qui ego. As we see, we use at qui instead of act when it's a... The word starts with a vowel. Anyway, I, arbitro, I think or judge, etiam, even illus, to those people, quibus, in whom, agitatio, plural, we've got um, genitives there, so they conduct or do cases uh, in most of the on most uh, subjects or whatever you might want to call it. Uh, they conduct lots of cases or know a lot of law. Uh, frequent just means frequently. Uh, nihil esse ignotum. So these things, petiaba, looks like they're... Um, a little bit ignotum means they don't know it. So even the people, these kind of people, who are conducting lots of law cases, uh, would probably be, they don't know much about it about this uh, genus, which is type questions. These types of questions are which ad ferro ad te, which I'm uh, bringing to you, ad ferroing to you. So, ought, we've got uh, some sort of options here. Either non satis tritum, they haven't been worn down or they don't have a lot of experience satisfactorily, or etiam, uh, they would be an expertum, they wouldn't have had any experience. So the questions he's going to bring in the last half of this letter look like they could be uh, rarities. Hoc et ego. Uh, I'll take that et as an also or two. So this also, excuse your I'll make some kind of excuse. You can pick that up from the first bits. Um, C forte, if by chance, sum lapsus, I make some sort of slip up, and you uh, be more digni or more worthy for praise or in praise, uh, see poets. If you're able, uh, in this, to docere, to teach, quoque also, what in obscuro est, uh, whether or not uh, didicorous. Um, it's a reduplicated perfect. Uh, could be a future or a subjunctive, but uh, from the contents, it looks like uh, even if there's something you're obscure in of what you all learnt, you can... Uh, even be more worthy of praise if um, you can help Pliny. 12. Referabator. 
is being referred to the matter of, Day takes the ablative, the uh, freedman, the libertus uh, freedman. Well, we've got triple genitive of Afrianus Dextrus the consul. Um, it is uncertain, in certum, sua or suorum manner. By his own hand, the sua would be his own hand, or suorum would be of his people that he owns, uh, slaves, and here we have freedmen. Um, whether it was a scalare, a crime, or if they were obsequing, if they were following his orders, anyway, peremptory. Um, the guy's dead, obviously. And it's uncertain whether he'd killed himself or his servants did it, or whether it was a crime or whether it was following his own orders. Hoz. Looks like these people, the uh, Suorums. Alias. Uh, there's one thing going on here. Quiz. Who? Ego. I. So well, there's some point that he's made, but Neil Ruffer, but it makes no difference. Uh, post the Quaisition, in, after the Inquisition, or the um, Inquiry, in form of supplication by punishment. Looks like, uh, should they be liberandos, made free, and other people correlating with that, uh, that they should be relegated into an insular, which is an island. And it looks like, at least we've got a third opinion. Should they be paniendos, which is punished with morte? Uh, these were the things which had to be arbitrated or judged. Quarum sentimentarum, double genitive, of which sentiments, tanta irat, such was the diversity or the differences of, of um, the punishments. They seem to have vast uh, diversity or difference. So that non possent, uh, these were not possible to be done, these judgments. Nisi, unless, looks like each single case was taken by the same person. So they're going to divide up all these people who were involved in the murder and uh, sentence them singularly. 13. Quidenum. For what habit do they have in common, you might want to say, commune, uh, to occiderate, to kill, and to relegate to an island? Uh, so what does it, to be killing someone and relegating them have in common? Uh, not by Hercules, just an appeal to the gods there, because Hercules was a god. Not magus quam, not more than to relegate our eight and to absolve from the crimes. Okay, so the three things... Killing, relegating, and absolving, and he's now categorizing them. Although propio, which means closer, comes from propi, um, is this sentiment of relegating uh, eloquente by a little bit, uh, and which is to absolve. So it looks like um, relegating someone to an island and uh, or absolving them of the crime are a lot propio, are a lot closer, are uh, quam than if you are kid at the person, if you kill the person. Uh, Ultra qui enum, uh, each of these two points from which uh, they are relinquished, they are left with some vitae. If you relegate them or absolve them, they're left with life. But hake, this last one, uh, they adim it, they lose their life. Uh, a kid it means to kill, and adim it means taking it away. Cum interim. So interim means meanwhile. When, so, uh, when uh, meanwhile, it also, qui, those who wanted to uh, punish with death and those who wanted to relegate them to an island, they were sitabanting. They were sitting, uh, una, together in one group and temporarily, we'll take that as the simulation, which is a bit like a brawl or a rix or a fight. It looks like they deferred uh, their discord and temporarily had a concordia, uh, a bit of an agreement. 14. Ego, I are Pliny. I was postulabamming, I was postulating ut that. With the three sententes, these three viewpoints or opinions, uh, constarat numerous suus. So it should be agreed that or they should be counted or uh, numbered as three three opinions and that not not say not these with a brevibus in duties not with a brief uh, truce or agreement should do a two of them be joined together so these are uh, this group that were voting together to relegate them or, or punish them with death um, 
he wanted to pull us apart, Pliny did, and keep them in uh, three groups and not join two of them. Exingabam comes from Exigo, which can mean a lot of different things. Usually means to force out or something. So I was forcing out or demanding. Uh, ergo, then that foot que that those who were pudibanting, they were thinking they should be affected with uh, capital supplico, capital punishment. They should discuterant. They should uh, leave from the people who wanted to relegate them to an island. And neck in trim, and not in the meantime, um, be contra those who wanted to absolve and set them free. For mocks, soon they would be congregating, I mean, flocking together to dissensure, to have a disagreement amongst themselves uh, shortly. Uh, because parvolum, again, a little time. Uh, this would, they would be referring it or thinking about it, and they would be displicerated. They would be displeased um, amongst themselves with the same sort of thing. Uh, quibus non idem plaquisit. Plaquisit means to please or to uh, agree to something or decide. Yep, so only mattered a little bit when they... Um, displeased on the same thing and it was not the same thing that they agreed on and etiem even uh, illud this uh, mihi to me uh, virbato seemed uh, thoroughly ama uh, amazing per just makes it stronger so it's thoroughly or very amazing or something that ilm him quidem indeed or even who was for relegandosing the libertos for um, putting the freedmen onto um, an island and this is what he was sensitiving he was thinking and affecting uh, the servos the slaves with a supplication a punishment so there was one guy who wanted to put the freedmen on an island and what kill the slaves um, coactum est sa um, it should be forced to divide or a centennial so Divider is the same sort of thing in English. Yeah, he thinks that, um, as he was so he thought it was very amazing, Pliny thought, he should be forced to uh, divide the punishments between these two statuses, whether they're free or slaves. Okay, so here's exigo, the daily dictionary word. I drive out, expel, demand, or require, enforce, extract, that's what it was used for today, to demand. We also have spending time, concluding, bringing to an end, etc. If you want to live in a dictionary. Okay, so hunk, here's another person. So we had Eum, he's a person qui who wanted to do something, and now we have hunk, autumn, however or moreover, and this other person qui who wanted multiret, this is a form of punishment. He wanted to be punished, the liber libertos, the free men with death. How can he be numerad? How can he be counted, uh, however, with the ones who want to uh, relegate the freedmen? So the lib Libertos was the uh, sticking point between the two because one wanted um, to be, uh, this previous one, one of them relegandos and this uh, other one, one of them Libertos killed with the slaves and how can they be counted together when they are going to disagree? Namsi, for if, or port to wisse, if it ought to be uh, divided, the centenia unius of one person. So if the vote of one person should be divided, uh, queer because the US res of two points uh, comprehend about. So uh, comprehend means to understand. Um, how do I put that in English? So if, if the vote of one person is divided, and comprehensively, there are two points being disputed or something. Non repariben. I don't understand. Quem ad modem. In which way uh, posset it is possible to young guy to join uh, the centenia, the opinions, duorum of two people with tam diversa with such different uh, sensentiums, uh, opinions. And 16, that's it for the day. Atqui and adio. Can't see notes, so I just say it as utterly or absolutely. 
a permit, let's say an imperative permit, me, me, uh, thus, a pute, uh, with you, uh, tanquem, uh, just as Ibi I did there, uh, thus, as the matter is proactive, it's been completed, uh, the ray is, but uh, let me, it looks like, treat it now, just as if ad hoc it was still going and integra and was still open. Uh, so integra versus paracta. Um, and a rhetoric, I will give my judgment and his ration, his way of thinking, uh, que qui, which uh, then carped him piece by piece with uh, multos obstreperations with much uh, pleading or something. Dixie, I said it there. And now in uh, leisure time, let me uh, join up all these things which I carped him uh, tore apart one by one.